Deftones, Rats, 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 Guitar Lesson, and Guitar Tabs. This is a standard tuning method. I'll play the guitar parts all at the beginning here. After that, I'll go back through and give a full explanation for everything. Please hit that subscribe button. It's the best way to let me know you like this video and want to see more Deftone stuff in this style. And now let's give it a try. <laughs> Okay, so once again, this is a standard tuning interpretive method that I'm trying here. Uh, six strings, all that good stuff, just uh, trying to keep it as simply accessible as we can here. And this initial verse section, we're playing out these really interesting chords. It's like a, like a major seven, you know, no third slash type crazy chord. Anyway, so... Basically, we're going to start with this E flat major seven thing going on here. Where uh, we're going to hit kind of a compounded thing where we do the six on the E, add the six on the A for that E flat, and then we'll do the eight on the D, and then we'll get a seven on the G. And the bulk of the song is just really about like this real syncopated, you know, uh, strumming going on here. And this initial pattern, uh, it's basically like we do one, two, three, four. A hesitate one two three four hesitate one okay something like that now we hold for a moment and then we just break into one two three four little hesitation one two three four and then just quickly like get right back into it just loop it all right and at the end of this this initial intro verse part of it, we get a real quick little scale that only happens at, at this part in the song, and basically just uh, in our you know higher voiced interpretive method here, uh, we get a little something like this where we do A string, hammer it six to eight, slide it ten, back to nine. All right, and then we come up and we hit seven E, come off to five. Seven, hammer it to eight, back off to seven. All right, continuing on at the end of the verse, you know, we're doing our, our same pattern. Okay, that type of deal. And at the end of the verse, we get this new little bit where we take that same shape that we're using and just drop it down here to this C major seven with the G up top. And it's the same shape. We're just down here at the third fret now. So we got the three E and A, five on the D with the four G. We just kind of hit that once, hold it a moment, drop it down a fret, the same shape, at the twos with the four and the three, and then we go one, two, one. The chorus, pretty straightforward here. Uh, we want a A sus two chord. So you, uh, I like to do it this way, uh, try to keep it as low as possible. Um, basically where we're hitting the uh, five on the E with the 
7 on the A, and then add the 9 on the D. If that's too much of a stretch for you, you can just drop it down and do like an open A with the 2, D, and G. And you can even throw in like the open low E with it just to compound it, get a little bigger. Okay, up to you. I prefer this this form here. I can make it work because I got, you know, stretchy hands. All right, so we're doing that and we're just basically strumming through that like a loose shuffle for, you know, a few measures here. And then we just basically take it down two frets to the G, so that's two, so, you know, the three, five, and the uh, seven there, same deal. And we just go back and forth between those two chords a couple times, and then we finish just by landing on a F sharp power chord here, the two E, four on the A and D. And that leads us into our next section that really sticks on that F sharp area. All right, so the post chorus section, this is another like super timing syncopated strumming thing here. And uh, just basically sticking around this F sharp power chord, but we're doing this little bit where um, we're gonna change that two on the E, that F sharp to a G, keeping the four on the A and D under it. And basically with this, we want that three E with the four on the A and D just go one, two, three, come back off to the two, just to make the regular power chord. Okay, we do it just like that. And we hold just a moment there, strum that power chord again. Okay, come back to that three with the fours, hit it, just a slight hesitation. Two closer strums, a little slight hesitation, back off to the F sharp power chord. And then we just quickly loop it from there. All right, and after we go through it a couple times, we throw in this real quick, like, uh, you know, out of nowhere, kind of really fast little triplets here, palm muted F sharp power chord triplets here. And of course this is, you know, an open low with that, you know, super low seven string. But, uh, you know, we're doing the higher voice of it here where, you know, F sharp power chord, and it's just one, two, three, one, two, three, palm muted. Okay. And that's kind of the, the whole pattern that we want there for that section. So those two sections, loop them, and you're good for that post-chorus. And once we get to the second verse, there's a little variation that happens there. I think we kind of start off uh, with our same pattern there, you know, the that type of deal. But then it we throw in this little wrinkle here where uh, instead of the seven on the G, we have that same chord, but now that G, we just make it a nine. So now it becomes like a E flat with the flat nine, no third, just another funky chord. So everything's the same. We just make that seven G a nine and strum it the same way. Okay, it's just a new little, little extra thing in there for that second verse. And then we kind of go back and forth between that with the you know nine on the G to the seven on the G. For this interlude section, um, it, it just breaks into this really quick uh, picking riff here where basically we're coming off from a D to a B. All right, so we're we can do that here pretty simple. Uh, it makes it a little easier to do it up here at this spot where we're at the 10 on the E here and we're just gonna come off to the seven. And it's just this real quick picking going on. So we, we'll hit the 10, come off to about four of those sevens. <laughs> Okay, we're just alternate picking just real fast here, like 60 no style. All right, and we just crank that out twice like that. All right, and then we just finish that little bit with the tens, a little, two of them, a little closer. We do a 10, seven back to 10, come off to the four. Okay. And we just loop that whole thing for quite a bit. All right, and then we switch into this next uh, riff here, which is more just kind of real deliberate power chords. And uh, just playing around in this area where um, we'll be at the F sharp at that two and fours, the two E, four, and the A and D. And we just hit it, hold it account, come off to open E power chord. All right, to G power chord at three and fives, back to the F sharp at the two and fours, to the open E, and then finish at the G at the three and fives. 
Okay, the last two chords are a little closer together. 